Hey everybody, it's George from BW Unlimited Charity Fundraising. Continuing our video blogs or our vlogs, um, following up on what we talked about last time. Today we're going to talk about what I believe is the cornerstone of any great event. What do you think it is? Well, I'll tell you. In my opinion, it's the venue. The venue is extremely important. If you don't know what venue means, it's the place where you're having your event. Now, we're going to think about it. Right from the right from the start, when you're sending out your invites or you're on Facebook posting up the, uh, the, the event, people see it. And the first thing they see is where you're having it at. Now, if you're having it at a local hall somewhere down the road, out in the middle of the country, or you're having it at a fire hall, what does that tell them? Well, it tells them the quality of place, the quality of food, the quality of service. Do they want to go? Then they're going to say, What's the price of the ticket in compared to the venue? Then they're going to take the meal and they're going to look at the meal and they're going to think, does this place have a chef? Can they cook good? Do I know anything about it? Have I been to other events there before? They're going to compare that to the venue and to your, to your event. And they're going to ask themselves, should I go or not? Well, we're going to talk about this down the road some more. We're going to talk about how today successful fundraising is not about the charity and but that's another video blog down the road I promise you warning that we'll do we'll approach that down the road but today we're talking about venue if you go on the internet and you go to the other charity event calendars you're gonna find out that there's always a one category it says events under hundred and fifty dollars why is that well it tells affluent people out there that these are the cheaper events to go to, but there's more expensive events to go to. Believe it or not, affluent people like to go where they're gonna be affluent people. Affluent people, rich people, the kind of people you want to come to your event will not go to a crappy venue. You know why? Because if I've got the money, I wanna to go to a nice restaurant, good restaurant with really good food. I want to have good drinks, I want the place to be clean, very nice, the decor, the service, everything, impeccable. And if that isn't true, then why are there rating systems for restaurants, right? Okay, so the venue tells everybody the level of your event, fire department, rental hall, tells them the level. Really nice place, really good food, what does that tell them? really good event right it tells people there's good people are going to be dressed normal you know nice they're going to be in suits whatever guys women nice place lower end event automatically automatically either pushes people away or shuts them off completely i guarantee it free isn't always best so top event this just happened a couple days ago. I walked into one for one of our other businesses. I walked into one of our clients and a gentleman was in there. He said, George, I just went to this event the other day. We walked in, the, the parking lot was crappy. We walked in, the place wasn't all that clean. It was loud. The food was horrible. The shrimp were mushy. We walked in, um, they had really bad beer. Um, we said her lows and we left. And that was our donation. We bought tickets. That's not what you want. You want to attract people. You want to make them feel comfortable, clean, really great decor, awesome food. They're getting the quality for the price of the ticket. I'm always a big fan of wrapping in alcohol, beer and wine into the ticket price. So they're going to compare all this, all this into one, and then that's what's going to attract them to your event. It's about your event. You need to get people there. The other thing is the ticket. If the venue's cheap. And you can you figure oh my gosh I can put a whole lot of profit on my ticket I'm getting the ticket for let's say $18 that's how I got in it but I can charge 35 or 40 something's not right there you are going to get what you pay for going to get what you pay for so if you're getting a cheap price that's what you're gonna get seriously so the cornerstone of any awesome event, any awesome fundraiser, highly successful fundraiser, is the venue. 
the first thing you need to think about is the venue. Go to a place in your area, even if you've got to drive 35, 45, maybe even an hour. People will come. It's a good place. Everybody travels to good restaurants. Some people even fly. Find venue. The venue is most important. Do not try to turn something that's not what you want into what you want. It's not going to work. Find a place where that's where they specialize. Catering facilities. Places that host weddings, bar mitzvahs. That's what they do. Go to that place. If you don't know any, ask around. Ask your friends, your family. Hey, where do they have great events around here? Those places pride themselves on a new chef, new staff, new decor. We redid it, da, 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 whatever, whatever. They pride themselves in that. Because why? Because they want more business. So go there. There's quality and price. Believe me when I tell you, quality and price. If you could get a place for $15, you get what you pay for. If you got to pay $45, something like that, you get what you pay for. Venue. Clean parking lot, clean place, really nice deck. Uh, it's decorated really, really great. Um, clean bathrooms, all of that matters. It affects. I mean, even the approach when you're pulling up and you're you got to go around the back of a building or something like that. You know, when it's like it's a fire department, you got to go around the back. All that affects people. Just the approach. If you pull up, the place looks great. The landscape is great. Everything's clean. Believe me when I tell you take care of your guests they are going to take care of you at the same time we're going to talk about this later too about ticket price price matters price matters if you get into you figure well let's have it for a lower price so we can get more people what you're going to get is you're going to get people who can't afford to donate any money sorry this is fundraising we're trying to raise money here having a lower ticket price only gets you people coming to eat you need to have a, have a price where it kind of is like a hurdle, financial hurdle. People have to jump over that hurdle to come to your event. It almost, I call it pre-qualifying them. You need to pre-qualify. Find a venue where you're going to get an awesome meal. Wrap in the liquor or do whatever. Clean, beautiful place. That is gonna pull people to your event. If you're trying to attract new supporters, Venue is vitally important. Having it at the right place where affluent people feel comfortable because affluent people want to be with other affluent people. It's the truth. Networking and all that good stuff. So find a place in your area. It doesn't matter how far it is. I mean, hours and hours. Yeah, that's too far. But within an hour drive, it's fine. People are used to it. We drive for work. We drive to go to the grocery store, everything else, shopping. Find a good place. Have it there. Price. Quality and price. So that's today's uh, fundraising tip. Venue. Cornerstone of any awesome event. Believe me when I tell you, you start with that, you're on a road to success. So check us out on the internet at www.bwunlimited.com. Facebook, fan page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, we're, we're there. Give us a call, 410-658-8808. We would love to help you, even if we can give you some advice over the phone. Check out, check out our blogs. I'll see you next time. Yours and Charity Fundraising. See you later. Bye.